Hi, Steven here from the Around Table, and today I'll be talking about the fourth studio album from the melodic rock supergroup Revolution Saints. They've been around since 2015. As I said, this is their fourth studio album. I was a big fan of these guys for since their debut in 2015. You had Dean Castronovo, Doug Ulrich, and Jack Blades fronting the band in the beginning for the first three albums, and they're the kind of the closest thing to a Journey Foreigner 2.0 that you could get. Um, my biggest concern was in 2022 when they announced that Jack Blades and Doug Ulrich will not be participating in the Ford Studio album and Dean Castronovo will be continuing on as lead singer, drummer, but there will be a, an introduction to, to new members. So when I heard it's going to be Joel Hoekstra, Hoekstra from White Snake and Jeff Pilsen, who is currently in Foreigner, but was in an 80s rock band that I used to like called Dawkin, were coming aboard. I felt a little more at ease, but I was expecting a dramatic change up in sound. With their fourth album, um, it rest assured, it sounds pretty much the same as the first three. There are little differences. They have tried to tweak their sound to match the new personalities in the band but it does not take away from a great listening experience. If you do like the first three, this album will not change your mind. You will love this as well. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. The last song that I heard was Crime of the Century. was the last single. I thought that's a great stadium, stadium rocker if I ever heard one. Catchy chorus, great guitar riffs, everything on there. So I was really looking forward to this album. Tried to buy it. I thought it was a little pricey at $32 Canadian, so... I kind of streamed it this week and listened to it that way. Usually most people know that I usually buy the stuff I listen to, but I'm going to wait for the price to go down. I will pick it up. I'm just waiting for an appropriate price. That being said, as far as the songs go, very, I'm going to say a harder rocking version of Journey. If Journey and Forna would mesh together and have a little bit more guitars, it's Revolution Saints. What I like about this band, what I like about this incarnation right now, whether it's a ballad or a rocker, the lyrics seem heartfelt. And that's, for me, a game changer. It's nice to have a rocker, but if you don't care what, what's going on in the song itself. It seems that Dean Ketchum has really stepped up as a singer in this band. I, f I believe him. I, I give him credibility as a singer in this. He, he brings the songs to life. Everybody's playing well. I think Jeff Pilsen has learned a lot playing in Foreigner for the last, I don't know, it's at least 10, 10 years for sure. He's learned a lot in, in the at realm of melodic rock. And uh, Joel Holstra is no slouch either. Great guitar playing on this album. If I'm going to go with my favorite tracks, it's going to be Eagle Flight, the opening track. I love the piano intro. Great. Uh, again, like I said, Crime of the Century, probably the catchiest song on the album. The most foreignerish song is going to be Set Yourself Free. That, if you hear that, you you can see the the, the link to, to Journey on that one. That's for sure, without a doubt. If you like Journey, this is the song will stick out for you. Uh, Save It All is the one that kind of throws the album off. It, it's the album closer, but it sounds like a Thin Lizzy song. So I like that they changed it up there. Um, the other one I like is I'll Cry For You. I think it's an amazing atmospheric ballad. And I'm telling you, this just knocks it out of the park. But like I said, even there's, whether it's a slow song or a fast song, it has that ballad weight to it. It has that, the, the lyrics drag you in. So it doesn't really matter. So it's it's heartfelt whether it's a rocker or a ballad. And that's what I liked about this album. All the way through. The only song I wasn't crazy about is Kids Will Be Kids. It's a good rocker. It's just not my favorite. I, I And one more. It's a good ballad, but it's nowhere near for me the greatness of I'll Cry For You, which I hope will become a single. I think this would be a bombastic single for these guys. I think it would be huge. All in all, this is. I was worried in the beginning. I had worries about the new lineup. Heard this album. My worries, I've been cast away. No doubt this is a smoking rock album. If you love Foreigner, you love Journey, you love Night Ranger, 
this is the album to pick up. It's got the riffs, the hooks, the choruses, everything you want in a melodic rock album. It has ear candy for days, 10 tracks. For me, I think there's two that are, I'm not saying they're bad in any way, shape or form, that are just not as good as the other ones. But they're still great. It almost plays out like a greatest hits package. So if you like that, if all the songs sound good and the production here is fantastic, uh, Frontier Records are doing a great job with these guys. They pick a lot of bands, um, pick a lot of guys from other bands and put them together. They're on a roll with this one. This one I think is probably their biggest hit. And I hope they continue this new lineup of Castronovo, Hoekstra, and Pilsen are great. Like I said, my initial interpretation was the sound would be totally different. It isn't, which is could be good or bad, depending on like, I like that they continue the sound. It is a little bit more rockier than I think, than some of their albums, which is good. But it still maintains the Revolution Saints sound. So like I said, if you like Foreigner, Journey, you know, if you like these bands, that kind of style, that ear candy, easy accessible, not that I mean accessible, it's a bad way. It's just the minute you hear the song, it's felt like you've heard this a hundred times before. And that's a making of a great song, in my opinion. If you hear it once and you felt like you know this already 10 years, you've done your job. And I think they've done their job well on this. Great new lineup. Great new album. If this is a start, it's a fantastic start. I give this my highest recommendations. Like I said, if you do like melodic rock in the vein of Journey and Foreigner, this is a no-brainer. These guys are talented. Dean Castro really steps up. Besides him being a great drummer, he is a phenomenal singer on this. And this one showcases his voice in spades. Hostra, the solos are fantastic. He's very, very inventive on here. I like them a lot. And Pilsen provides that driving bass that the, the songs need. He has learned a lot, not only in being in Duck in all those years, but Forna really has really branched him out and he has really come to his own here. And I like it. So this album is maybe could be the best melodic rock album so far of the year. So this is Steven from The Roundtable, highly recommending the Ford Studio album from the super group, Revolution Saints. But you let me know what you think. Are you excited? Are you going to get it? Not going to get it? Wait for the price to drop? I am. I'm waiting for the price. I think 32 bucks is a little expensive for one disc, but, you know, that's me. You let me know what you think. Do you like any of the songs? Have you heard them? What do you think? We'd love to hear from you. So hit that like button, subscribe. And this is Steven from The Roundtable signing off.